If they're worth parking, my favorite place is to stop and take a quick break here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And even though, unfortunately, I missed the exhibit opening this past Thursday, but I made sure that the, stopping by the Prince Center was one of my pro, on my very high and top priority list today while I was down here today. The reason why I want to stop by is to, to check out their 92nd annual juried art exhibit. And by juried, it's, I mean, that people submit their art and they have a panel, they have a select panel to pick the winners of the contest. Now, as soon as I walked in, um, thanks, to the, thanks to the print center, the magazine is on the press list and really enjoy that fact. But as soon as I walked in, the, main, uh, the exhibit on the first floor, and look, actually look at the program right here, it's been a busy day, is Considerable Uncertainty Remains by Julianne Greenberg. And this, her art is based on weather on weather maps and weather radar I've never seen this type of art before it looks it looks so cool the way she did it especially with uh developing hurricanes and storm systems the rotation of them and the way she and the way she captures it and this isn't uh her art isn't painting it uh her art is actual three is true three dimensions truly three dimensions three-dimensional art and when you look at it, it's like, I really didn't look at it from, you know, I kind of looked at it from the angle that I was, you know, as being weather radar. But what, what made it really cool, and I, I mentioned to a couple of the ladies that were there, is, one of the reasons why I love the work park, is that some of the, the titles of some of her work, like one was called Labor Day Worry, and you saw uh, the way she did the storm system, I looked at it, I'm like, that pretty much defines every holiday, especially the summer ones. So it's just the way she titled her work and the fact that it is three-dimensional and looking, thinking back on it, if I can get a chance uh, before the exhibit's up to August 4th, and we'll get another chance to stop back and check it out. But if you look at it, just the three-dimensional aspect, and if you stop thinking about the weather forecast, you can get some interesting, see some interesting things and interpretations in her art. Now, after you, after you check out the first floor, you go upstairs for uh, Jacob Tesler um, is part of the two is part of the two exhibits upstairs. Copy of a copy. Now Jacob, hopefully I pronounce that Tesler is his his work is just it's really cool because you know a copy of a copy is where he kind of like takes paintings in pieces you know it's like okay there's one here's one version of it then it's, it's a okay I ran it through you know it's kind of like I ran it through a photocopy machine but there's something slightly different different about it which is really which is really cool but and again I'm going to do a follow-up exhibit it's just been a busy day today and I love it I've been loving every second over here in Philadelphia um, what I loved is the other one I really loved as far as the photography went Daniel W. Coburn becoming a specter. His, think about it, if you, it, he actually tries to capture in various photos, um, like people disappearing and becoming almost like a ghost, wraith, or specter-like version of themselves, or completely disappearing, or completely disappearing, which is something you don't see too much. Something you see too, don't see too much. It's not people like you know. The fade, the fade in, fade out. It's people actually trying, you know, different techniques, different, you know, ways to. Okay, how can it disappear in plain, in plain sight? I really love that. I really truly love that. Um, the 92nd annual exhibit will be up until August 4th. So if you have a chance to get down here to Philadelphia, or at least check out the Print Center online, check out their website. Definitely check out this exhibit. The fact that there's three completely different. Uh, types of art that's three completely different styles in this exhibit definitely definitely worth a visit definitely worth your time online um, the Prince Center really cool place by the way what they do is <coughs> they take is their whole purpose is to uh, is for excuse me, to utilize is to see to show how people utilize photography in different different versions variations 
a printmaking and, and turn it and use it as the art form itself. So definitely check out the Print Center. This exhibit is really cool. Another thing I loved about the exhibit was that there's three completely different styles in this exhibit. Like I said, the three, you know, you walk in, it's like, okay, especially with the winter we've been having lately in the Northeast, I don't know about where you live, where the weather's been this year, it's like, okay, you have an exhibit that is like interpretations of of what of weather, which is like, okay, I mean, all right, I feel like I'm back outside again. You know, it's really, that's really cool aspect. Then you go, out, then you go upstairs, and then you, you experience two completely different types and, and styles of art, and uh, you get to try, it, especially in ones that you don't see in a, normally see in a lot in a lot of galleries and exhibits. Michael Phoenix, founder and spon founder, yeah, sponsor, founder and staff of the magazine. Uh, please check out and support those, those people and thanks for sponsors for these young businesses. I couldn't do any of this without their, without their financial support, honestly. And to everybody out there, I'm, I wouldn't do it. It wouldn't be for the people, the page views, the feedback I get, and everyone out there. You're as much a part of, part of this as the sponsors. Do, do, do everything I cover myself. Is. So, you know, you're as much a part of the magazine as everyone else. Just got done celebrating five. This is actually part of the weekend celebration for five years for myself. Five years since I started my first magazine, became an official part of the media. I'm loving every second. Take care, everybody. You got one shot. At, you got one shot every moment in life. Take some time out. Enjoy with friends, family. Take some time out for yourself and remember what the whole. Thing, remember what it's about. And don't work hard. City Hall here in Philadelphia, in the great city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where Surrealville City Online Magazine was born. Later.